What's up everyone, this is Genki Sun, and I'm here to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 and 2 for PC. Um, Sega never patched the game to work properly on Windows 10, so a lot of people have been having problems getting it to work. Uh, it crashes, it doesn't play in full screen, there's audio but no video, all kinds of problems. So I put together a uh, proper configuration file to make it work. Um, there are some other things that you'll need to do, but I'm going to show you what you need to do now. Okay. Um, basically, go and open Steam and go into your library. Right click on your Sonic game and go to Properties. Go to Local Files, Browse Local Files. Okay. That'll take you to the root install folder. And what you want to do, let me just close out of here for a second. You're going to want to take the file that I'm providing you and drag drag it into the root folder of the Sonic game. All right? You can actually make two copies of the file and put them in each Sonic game. Okay? It'll work on both. Once you're done, close that out. And... the game should work, okay? By default, it will be in windowed mode, and there's a reason for this, because for some reason, it just does not want to work properly in full screen mode. Hold on a second, let me do it manually here to get out of this. Okay, it doesn't want to work properly in full screen mode. Now, I haven't figured out a way yet to fix that. Hopefully I'll be able to figure it out soon. So for now, what I do is I use a program called Borderless Gaming. Okay, You can find it on Steam and there are a few other comparable programs that do the same thing. Okay, And let's start that up. Now once this program starts, it has a, uh, a bunch of stuff, you know, listed by default. And what you want to do is you're going to want to add whichever game, the executable, okay? You're going to want to add that into this list. And I already have it here, okay? Once you add that, make sure to leave Borderless Gaming open and start the game. And there you have it, full screen, no problems. Okay, so that will fix the full screen problem. Now the next problem people have been having is they can't get their controllers to work, whether it's their Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch. I'm going to show you how to do that, how to get it to work. Right now I'm using PlayStation 4 controller, okay? So let's uh, exit this game. Okay. Now to get your controller to work, let's close this and this. Open Steam. And you're going to want to go over here, click on Big Picture Mode. Now once you're in Big Picture Mode, you're going to want to go to the settings, okay, that icon right there. Go into that. And over here, you're going to want to go down to controller settings. Click on that. And you're going to have a list of, con of uh, controllers that you can um, set up. Now, I actually have the Xbox configuration support checkmark. I'm using that for my PlayStation 4 controller because I'm actually using a uh, Xbox controller emulator for this, okay? For some games that just don't want to work properly on the PlayStation 4 controller. Anyway, uh, check mark whichever controller you're going to be using. Once you're done, exit out of big picture mode if you want to. 
okay? And let's close this. Give me a second here. And start whichever game you want to play, and your controller should work perfectly fine, okay? So I'm gonna leave. Uh, I'm gonna leave the file. Um, the link to the file, excuse me, in the description below. So you know where to download it. Just you know, follow everything I told you, and you should have no problems playing your Sonic the Hedgehog four games. Okay. So I will talk to you later, and have fun.